From Green Bay, the Fox Cities and the Lakeshore, this is CBS 5 News at 10. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Rain and strong winds are already bearing down on the central Gulf Coast tonight. Hurricane Katrina is a whopping Category 5 storm just hours away from coming ashore. Experts say it's a catastrophe waiting to happen. Drew Levinson is in Biloxi, Mississippi with the latest. They sat bumper to bumper for miles. They snaked around the Superdome. Half a million New Orleans residents who left their homes to seek shelter. The Big Easy is the big target. Every person is here by order to immediately evacuate the city of New Orleans. Hurricane Katrina is just hours away from hitting land, but the storm's outer bands are already drenching the entire central Gulf Coast, and the outlook is not pretty. The only hope for a weaker storm here is a little bit of cooler water right along the Gulf Coast. By all accounts and everything we know, this will be a catastrophic event. Pray for us. Pray for all of New Orleans. The city sits below sea level, entirely surrounded by water. Normally, levees keep it out, but experts say the storm surge will change that. And the worst case scenario? It's a vast area that'll be totally underwater uh, after the storm passes. And it's the massive storm surge that concerns hurricane experts. Some parts of the Gulf Coast could see a wall of water as high as 30 feet. And if that's not enough to scare, Hurricane Katrina already killed nine people in Florida. Then it was only a Category 1. In Biloxi, Drew Levinson, CBS 5 News. Now, experts say this could be the most powerful storm to hit New Orleans in 40 years. And if you'd like to track Hurricane Katrina, you can log on to our website at WFRV.com and click on Live Webcast. Back in Wisconsin, a police chase ending in Shawano County has landed two people in jail. 19-year-old Gawabani White and 19-year-old Philip White were arrested after a chase in which the occupants threw cocaine and a 17-pound safe out of a car. After evading several spike strips, the two finally ran into one. Both fled the vehicle but were found and arrested. Gawabani White is being held in the Shawano County Jail on several felony charges. And the Manitowoc Police Department is investigating a drive-by shooting that happened yesterday afternoon. Witnesses say a blue minivan pulled into a driveway on the 1300 block of 19th Street. While the occupants were in the van, another vehicle came by. As that second car drove past the minivan, an Asian man was seen firing a gun from the passenger side of the vehicle. No injuries have been reported. If you have any information about the shooting, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 920-683-4466. And multiple police agencies were called to a reported riot at a prison unit in Texas late last night. Officials say about two dozen inmates got into a fight in a recreation yard of the pre-patrol transfer facility. The Texas Department of Criminal Justice says there were at least 500 inmates in the yard at the time. At least 12 people received non-life-threatening injuries. An investigation is underway into the cause. Well, Tom joins us now with a first look at the weather, a beautiful weekend. Oh, we had perfect weather here, but we are getting a lot of calls from people who have relatives at Camp Shelby, for instance, outside of Hattiesburg in Mississippi. So we're going to concentrate our first look at tonight's weather on the storm on down to the south. Well, there you see the storm moving across the Gulf of Mexico with the eye right now at about 130 miles south of the Delta, Mississippi Delta, and about 100 to 150 miles south of uh, Miss, uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. But here's where Camp Shelby is, and you might notice that there is a lot of green. That represents rain. They're going to be experiencing heavy rain, but also there is a tornado watch in effect for that area, and that goes until 2 o'clock in the morning. The storm is moving north-northwest, so it should probably pass to the west of Camp Shelby. There you can see the whole picture again, but uh, it is of prime concern. So, Jen, what we're looking at for tonight is a potential of tornadoes down in that area, in addition to the strong hurricane winds. Okay, it's pretty frightening. Okay, thanks a lot, Tom. Right. We'll see you a little bit later. Well, on a much lighter note, for the seventh year, tens of thousands descended upon Oshkosh for the Great Outdoors Festival. The three-day event wrapped up this afternoon. As CBS 5's Anjanette Levy tells us, those who give their free time to the event make it a success. These eight-day-old ducklings are drawing a big crowd at the Ducks Unlimited Great Outdoors Festival in Oshkosh. It's the first year the Brightwells of Menasha have made it to the event that draws tens of thousands. I like seeing the ducklings and 
also liked watching the dogs jump off the dock. The family likes to come out and look at the different hunting and fishing, and the kids like to see the dogs. The festival, which is held on the EAA grounds, is always a hit, thanks in large part to the more than 1,000 volunteers who work at the event. It's a lot of fun. We get we have to do a community service for high school too, but this is just a lot of fun to do. Stephanie Salm of Larson has volunteered here for two years. You have a good feeling because you help get to help people, and little kids get a gig, big kick out of the ducks, so that's fun. The volunteers really set the pace and tone for the event uh, because they're the ones that's interacting with the public and uh, make it so pleasurable for them to be here. With more than two acres of exhibits that cover hunting, sports, and conservation issues, there's plenty for these people in the blue shirts to do. Their work makes the festival go off without a hitch and allows everyone, including the Brightwells, to enjoy all the great outdoors has to offer. There's a lot of nice things to do, a lot of different exhibits to look at. Just a nice relaxing day. In Oshkosh, Antoinette Levy, CBS 5 News. Last year, more than 77,000 people attended the Great Outdoors event. Organizers believe this year's attendance will break that record. Well, it's moving day on the UW-Madison campus, and about 2,500 students made their way back today in the first half of a two-day moving marathon. Many of the students and their parents had a tough time finding an unloading spot. Having lots of construction around there didn't help either. And as freshmen rushed to settle into their home away from home, there were plenty of families saying goodbye. I'm sure her mother is going to be uh, sad and cry. Me, I consider it uh, the end of the finish line. Day two kicks off tomorrow as another 2,000 students will move in. And more than 200 artists and their work were on display at Art Street this weekend in Green Bay. The annual festival included performing arts that were highlighted on three stages, plus great music and food. Art Street organizers believe this year may have been a record crowd, and everyone seemed to have a good time. I've heard nothing but fabulous comments, and you know, that's, that's really rewarding for us. We, we work on this year-round to put it together, and this is kind of the payoff to see all the people here having fun, enjoying themselves. CBS 5 was a proud sponsor of the children's area. And the Ashwaubenon Public Safety Department held an open house today in honor of their 25th birthday. The event kicked off with a memorial dedication this afternoon. There were also tours of the facility, demonstrations, and plenty of other activities. Public safety officials say community members have the right to know what's going on at the safety department. After all, they help pay for it. People of the community pay taxes, and this, this is a good way to to let them see exactly where their tax dollars are going and what we do, and a, a good way for the children to interact with the police and the, the firemen and, and the rescue people so that, that they're not afraid of them in the future. Officials say about 200 people came out for today's open house. In other news, some teens in the Fox Valley were raising money today to keep their theater group from shutting down. Those are members of the Theatric Center of the Arts playing at a fundraiser in Oshkosh. The Nina-based theater group has provided a place for children to act in place for 17 years. Members say they hope the fundraiser held at the Sunnyview Expo Center will raise enough money to keep them on stage. A lot of the, the people inside will tell you, the theatric students, that it's, it's so much more than an organization or a cast of, of people. And so many of these people have been involved for so long. They keep coming back because not for the shows, but for the people that are in it and the family uh, atmosphere that it brings. Tonight's fundraiser wrapped up at 10, so just a few minutes ago. No word on whether or not they met their goal. And still to come tonight, portable gadgets are certainly an American craze. And now there's a new way to protect your investment. We'll explain when we come back. We raise the standard. Strategic vision named Buick Rainier. Best in class in total quality. Our quiet tune 2005 Terraza minivan has leather appointed seating and DVD all standard. It's really put us on top of our game. You can still get the employee discount on 2005 models. You pay what we pay. The 05 Terraza CX is just $24,387 after all applicable offers. Buick quality and the employee discount for everyone. See your Buick dealer today. Want premium high speed internet for the price of dial up? Get SBC Yahoo DSL. For just $14.95 a month, you'll get a super fast connection and features like a premium version of the world's number one online music destination. 
plus an all-in-one online protection suite. Cable internet customers find out how you can get three months of high-speed internet free when you switch to SBC Yahoo DSL. Get the speed you need for the price you want. Only $14.95 a month. Go online now. Oh. Hey, buddy. Yeah? You want to buy a car? No. Oh, what? 20 bucks. You're this precious baby wax. Seriously? 20 bucks. Come on, $20. All right. 20 bucks. Oh, man. No matter what stage you're at in life, there's a Wells Fargo nearby to help. Get more than free checking. Get to your next stage. As the sweltering days of summer come to pass, the time comes for an event so momentous it can't be missed. The Toyota Time Clearance Event. Now get up to 1,000 cash or 1.9% financing for 36 months on the 30 mile per gallon rated RAV4. Or get 2.9% financing for 36 months on the sporty 41 mile per gallon rated Corolla. Catch this event now. When it comes to deals like these, everyone wins. That's moving you forward. Portable gadgets, we Americans certainly enjoy them, buying tens of millions of cell phones, digital music players, and mini computers. But it's an expensive love affair, especially if you lose or damage a device. Now, as Bill Walsh reports, there's a new way to protect your investment. Laura Bentley has a love-hate relationship with her cell phone. Me and cell phones just do not mix. <laughs> That's because her phone's been lost or stolen three times in the past five years. It would be costing me around 200 to 300 dollars each time. And that cell isn't the only expensive device Laura worries about. Like many people, her world has become gadgetized. PDAs, digital cameras, iPods, all exploding in popularity. It gets a lot riskier to own all these products. Riskier because they're popular with thieves too. And consumer advocate Doug Heller warns you can't depend on your homeowner's insurance policy to rescue you. They're not covering as much anymore. Madeline Flanagan is with the Independent Insurance Agents and Brokers of America, or IIABA. She says the dilemma lies in the deductible. Most gadgets don't cost much more than four to five hundred dollars and most folks today have at least a five hundred dollar or even a thousand dollar deductible but now there's a new way to protect your portables small gadget insurance unlike homeowners or renters these plans cover you in case of theft loss and accidental damage a lot of people are paying that extra cost the insurance industry says a growing number of companies now offer special policies or riders you can tag onto your homeowners most cell phone carriers pedal coverage too Cost varies, but on average, it runs three to five dollars a month for things like an iPod or phone. For someone who loses your iPod or your cell phone a lot, you might want to consider buying the coverage. But Heller says he's skeptical these new policies pay off for most consumers. He worries about the cost and what's revealed in the fine print, like deductibles of fifty to a hundred dollars, coverage exceptions, and replacement policies. They're going to give you something comparable. It may be refurbished rather than new. Both Heller and Flanagan agree it's important to look carefully at the terms of the policy to decide whether it's a good deal for Just you. Make sure that you're aware of what you're doing when you make that purchase. After Laura left her cell phone in a taxi, she decided to buy insurance through her carrier and recently filed their first claim. In the end, it's definitely worth it. It's like a security blanket. Heller says if you're interested in a gadget policy, check to see if there are limits on the numbers of claims. He says some insurance companies will drop you if you file more than three claims in one year. Well, it's truly a case of neighbors helping neighbors. Several fundraisers took place in Stoughton today to help out those who saw damage from the storm. The Stoughton Opera House hosted a performance to raise money for the city's police, fire crews, and emergency medical teams. Not too far away at Salon X, workers there came in on their day off to do what they do best. The focus of the whole day was helping out. You know, I don't think there's a single person in this town that was not affected by it in one way or another. You know, we all know of somebody or have a friend of a friend or, you know, you yourself were affected by it. So I think everybody in this town was affected. And the two events brought in almost $4,800. Well, we certainly had a nice weekend. Tom Mahoney will be in next to let us know what's in store for the work week when we come back. And we'll take another look, this time a satellite look, 
at Hurricane Katrina. Let me give you the 10 o'clock conditions. The center of which is 170 miles south-southeast of New Orleans, moving north-northwest at 10. Maximum wind speeds 160 miles per hour. 5 to 10 inches of rain, up to 15 inches are possible. And believe it or not, 4 to 8 inches of rain may fall in the Ohio Valley and Great Lakes in the middle part of the week because of this. We'll be back with the forecast coming up next. Chevy's proud to be the number one selling passenger car brand in America. And we have the most dependable, longest lasting trucks on the road. We've always broken the rules. Now we're rewriting them with the Chevy employee discount for everyone. You pay what we pay, not a cent more. Now get an 05 Uplander LS front wheel drive for a Chevy employee discount price of $23,750. Plus qualified buyers can get 0% APR financing. See your super Chevy dealer today. For a good, good. Hello, everyone, and welcome Larry to McCarran's Locker Room. Locker room. Revealing. I was not the best of student player. Hands on. First of all, cover the, the hand. Honest. Smart man will know the ball is coming. Professional. And dragon. Okay. Kicking and dragon. Okay. Intelligent. I don't know if I would call it that. When the playmakers want to talk, they line up for locker room. Larry McCarran's Locker Room. Be part of the audience Monday nights at 6.30 at the SC Grand. Watch it Tuesday nights at 6.30 on CBS 5. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'll just pull the rest of that. CBS 5, in your community, and we're listening. Boarding rows, excuse me, I have something to say. <clears throat> Chex Mix comes in um, 10 varieties with up to 60% less fat than regular potato chips, so you can snack on. 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 Chex Mix, a whole lot of crunch and a whole lot less fat than regular potato chips. Snacking on, baby! Snacking on! <laughs> Looks like the Chrysler Group has done it again. They have their most award-winning and freshest lineup ever. They have 12 vehicles with five-star frontal crash test ratings. And their vehicles are projected to retain their value better than GM or Ford. You know what's missing? A great deal. Get employee pricing plus and remaining 2005 Chrysler Jeep or Dodge models. It's like you always used to say, Grandpa. If you can find a better car, buy it. That's my girl. As Jen and I were talking, beautiful weather out here. Let me show you a gorgeous sunset. This was the view using our camera that is located in the Fox Cities near Little Chute. We're aiming it to the west. We're watching this gorgeous sunset. Look at that as it goes through the horizon. Some mid-level clouds going by. Just a picture-perfect sunset. 59 in Green Bay. Appleton still at 66. 90% on the humidity, calm conditions. The pressure is 29.88, and it is holding steady. We still have some 60s from Marinette to Sturgeon Bay, Manitowoc, and then going westward, while from the Bay Area northward, that's where we have temperatures in the 50s. Here are the temperatures around the state and right along the lines that I just gave you. Essentially from Eau Claire to Wausau, then down through the valley and over to the lakefront, south of there in the 60s, north of there, most of the temperatures are in the 50s. And our TrueView computer will show you exactly what the sky conditions will be like from 10 o'clock Sunday right on through 10 o'clock on Monday. Here we go. We're putting it into motion. Partly cloudy skies. There may be a sprinkle up north. That is it. Then for tomorrow, partly cloudy, and in the afternoon or evening, there could be an isolated sprinkle, but most of us, 90% of our area, will go without any rain for tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, we will be dry. Overnight low temperatures for tonight will fall off into the 50s and the lower part of the 60s, and our daytime highs for tomorrow will be right around 80, on up to the north in the 70s, to the south going up into the 80s. So here's our forecast then as we look at Oshkosh for tonight. Partly cloudy skies giving way to fair conditions. Overnight lows in the 50s and west to southwest winds at 3 to 8 miles per hour. Tomorrow morning some sun but then some clouds coming in tomorrow afternoon. High temperature 75 to 79. Light westerly winds about 3 to 8 miles per hour. And here is the extended outlook then. As we look ahead to Monday, yeah, kind of some morning sun, afternoon clouds 
Tuesday dry, Wednesday a fabulous day. Now on Thursday a chance of rain and the reason, the main reason I'm putting that in is the remnants from Katrina could make it up and affect the central and eastern Great Lakes, but it might just make it into eastern Wisconsin. Then dry on Friday, chance of rain Saturday on into Sunday, highs mostly in the 70s, overnight low temperatures in the 50s. And Jen, the last really big hurricane goes all the way back to 1969, Hurricane Camille that affected the area down along the Gulf Coastal area. So that's why it, it has been so long that there is so much concentration on this. Okay, all right, well, thanks a lot, Tom. Still coming up, the Green and Gold must trim their roster to 65 players by Tuesday, but Ted Thompson and the fellas at 1265 started handing out pink slips a little early. Burt Griffin is in next with all the details on who's now looking for another job. Stay with us. Time's running out for your final chance to save big with the Ford Family Plan during the Ford Labor Day event. Now through September 6th, you pay the same low price as Ford employees pay on 2005 and select 2006 Fords. Get an all-new 500 for just $19,995. That's over $2,800 in savings on the Ford that elevates the sedan. Big Ford Family Plan savings. Low employee pricing. Limited time. The Ford Family Plan ends September 6th and will not be extended. Good girl. A groundbreaking 14-year study by Purina proves that dogs can live longer, healthier lives. After all these years, you haven't lost a step, you old hound. Dog chow nutrition, fed properly over a lifetime, can help add up to two healthy years to your dog's life. Okay, last one home buys breakfast. Long live your running partner. Long live your dog. Purina Dog Chow. I'll take the red one, please. Dad! 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 Treat yourself to the best values of the year at the Lexus Golden Opportunity Sales Event at Bergstrom Lexus Appleton. For the first time ever at American, get $200, $300, $500, up to $1,000 of furniture free. Here's how it works. Make any furniture purchase of $600 and you select $200 of the furniture you want free. Purchase $1,000 of furniture at American and you select $300 of the furniture you want free. Buy more furniture, get more furniture free. Get $200, $300, $500, up to $1,000 of furniture free at American. What a mess. Military Avenue under construction right in front of Van Boxtel. And it's such a great time to save. Factory employee prices on new 2005 Fords and Jeeps, as well as select 2006s. Includes a 10-year, 100,000-mile limited warranty. 2005 F-150 Super Cab 4x4, just $22,131. Lease for just $179 a month. 2006 Ford Escape, $18,148, or $236 a month. Don't let the construction mess keep you from Van Boxtel Automotive, Green Bay. The first real cutdown date in the NFL is actually on Tuesday, but Mike Sherman and his staff didn't waste any time sending a message after the Packers' performance against the Patriots. League rules say that the roster must be at 65 in 48 hours. Today, 11 fellas packed up their gear. Biggest name in the group, linebacker Hannibal Navies. Joining him, Jeremiah Garrison, along with cornerback Patrick Dendy and defensive lineman A.J. Lindsey and Quentin Newhouse. On the offensive side of the ball, both veteran guard Matt O'Dwyer and offensive lineman Atlas Harrion out the door, as are wide receivers Vince Butler and Chad Lucas, along with tight end Torrey Humphrey and running back Derek Jonese. The most surprising of all the cuts, well, linebacker Hannibal Navies. But with the play of Paris Lennon and Ray Thompson this training camp, well, that made the decision an easy one for Mike Sherman and his staff. Navies, a decent tackler who was serviceable at his position, started 30 out of 32 games the past two seasons, despite playing with a bum shoulder for much of last year. The realist, though, says that Navies was at a point in his NFL life where he was on the downside of a solid career, and the Packers just needed to go in a different direction. Well, Hamilton Navy's done a good job for us and, uh, in the past and wanted to give him an opportunity. Uh, we could have hung on to him for another week, uh, but we just felt like uh, in this defense, um, he, he's, a, he's a good linebacker and he's more suited for 
maybe an under defense more so than our over defense right now. He's a great kid. Uh, can't find a better kid than him in the Navy. And he's done a lot for us. And that was a tough one. On the offensive line, the message also loud and clear when the team officially announced the release of veteran Matt O'Dwyer and second-year player Atlas Harrion. Adrian Clem, Will Whitaker, Gray Rugemer, and Scotty Wells will man both of the guard spots for the remainder of training camp. It became obvious the coaching staff, to them at least, that those guys separated themselves from the pack with Clem and Whitaker getting the starting nod, at least for now. Uh, that's how we started out here today. But... Uh... Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't read too much into that. Uh, the reason I wouldn't is, uh, you know, we tried to give, uh, uh, you know, the guards equal reps uh, in the practice. And, uh, uh, you know, we're still we're still trying to find it. You know, we uh, uh, you can't win the job by default. you got to win the job by your play on the field. And, uh, you know, we're making some progress, but uh, we're still just not there yet. Tight end Bubba Franks back in the practice field for the first time since signing his new contract. Number 88 looking pretty good while admittedly being a little bit out of sync. Franks has missed the last four weeks of work during that holdout. And while he has the freshest legs in the team, that's not the only thing on his mind right now. Yeah, yeah, tomorrow, you know, they, they may not be so fresh, but, you know, I got to overcome that and get ready for this week's game. It felt pretty good, you know, although I'm just a little rusty. I was just... I was a little bit behind, you know, and uh, it, was a, it was a matter of getting used to breast balls, but you know, I should pick it up tomorrow and the day after that. I've hung around 500 long enough to still be considered in the National League wildcard race, but with Ben Sheets gone for the rest of the season, Milwaukee has a huge uphill climb to realistically be considered for the playoffs. The rubber match this afternoon in the series against the Braves at Miller Park. Sheets out, Chris Capuano now the ace. Why not? He's already got 14 wins this season, more than any Brewer pitcher since Cal Eldred back in 93. First inning, Brady Clark gets the crew on the board. Solo shot to left, one nothing. Brujas, third inning, Atlanta without a hit yet until two men on. Andrew Jones crushes one to left field, gone. 3-1 at that point. Again, Andrew, this time in the fifth, the solo job to left field. No doubt about that one. His major league leading 42nd of the year. Atlanta takes game three of the series, 5-2 the final. Milwaukee now six and a half games out of the NL wildcard race. Little League World Series, Hawaii taking on Curacao. Hawaii down by one in the six. One out, bases loaded for Alaka Egalape, and he delivers the infield grounder. No double play, run scores. We're headed to extras tied at six. Then in the seven, full count for Michael Mamaya. And guess what, folks? In the Little League World Series or any baseball game, there is nothing like a walk-off home run. Hawaii wins the Little League World Series for the first time ever with the 7-6 win in extra innings. On the PGA Tour, well, none of the top 10 as they're all getting ready for the Deutsche Bank Championship. Nice day for Jerry Kelly, 17. Nice birdie putt for him. Finished at 12 under par, tied for fourth. Well, came down to a sudden death between Kenny, well, let's say Mr. Faxon, not Kenny Perry, Brad Faxon, Jert Vanderwalt, out of the bunker, and Faxon, are you kidding me, to within about three feet of the cup, despite Vanderwalt's shot, he missed his putt, so Faxon is your winner of the Buick Open. Coming up after the news in just a couple of minutes, we've got a new night, folks, but same great show, High School Sports Extra, you name it, we've got a Game of the Week prep roundup and our prep spotlight, along with the Team of the Week, coming up in just a couple of minutes. Okay, we'll look forward to that. Thanks a lot, Burke. We'll be right back. Shower and Schumacher's in-store warehouse sale starts August 25th. Six days to save as much as 70% on famous name sofas, chairs, tables, dining and bedrooms, lamps, wall art, and accessories. Shower and Schumacher, Ashland at Cremere, Green Bay. For a limited time, Lincoln Mercury is extending our invitation to pay the same low prices our employees and their families pay. The Lincoln Mercury Family Plan. Through September 6th, you'll get our discounts on every 2005 Mercury, including Montego, Mountaineer, Grand Marquis, Monterey, Sable, and Mariner, even the 2006 Mariner. Now drive the 2005 Mountaineer at this low family plan price. This offer ends September 6th. No hassles, no gimmicks. From the Lincoln Mercury Family to the American Family, welcome. CBS 5, in your community, and we're listening.
Wouldn't it be great having a smaller waist? I sit as a fiddle and feeling so good. Why, I would jump over According to a study, dairy foods rich in calcium, like YoPlay yogurt, could help you lose more weight than just cutting calories alone, especially around your waistline. I haven't a worry. YoPlay. Lose weight. Gain a waist. Now, YoPlay's great taste. In new YoPlay smoothie. An original and light. As the sweltering days of summer come to pass, the time comes for an event so momentous it can't be missed. The Toyota Time Clearance Event. Get 3.9% financing for up to 60 months or up to 2,000 cash on the available all-wheel drive Sienna. Or take 800 cash back on Highlander. Or check out the new Highlander Hybrid with Hybrid Synergy Drive technology. Catch this event now. When it comes to deals like these, everyone wins. That's moving you forward. Looks like the Chrysler Group has done it again. They have their most award-winning and freshest lineup ever. They have 12 vehicles with five-star frontal crash test ratings. And their vehicles are projected to retain their value better than GM or Ford. You know what's missing? A great deal. Get employee pricing plus and remaining 2005 Chrysler, Jeep, or Dodge models. It's like you always used to say, Grandpa. If you can find a better car, buy it. That's my girl. Shower and Schumacher's in-store warehouse sale starts August 25th. Six days to save as much as 70% on famous name sofas, chairs, tables, dining and bedrooms, lamps, wall art, and accessories. Shower and Schumacher, Ashland at Cremere, Green Bay. Men's clothing provided by the Haberdasher Limited, 500 South Washington Street, Green Bay. Tom's back with a final look at the weather. Some good back-to-school weather tomorrow. I don't know. You better believe it. Well, a lot of the colleges are starting, and some of the grade schools as well. Fair to partly cloudy skies, 50 to 50, or 54 to 58. No rain to speak of. There were some showers out west, and next weekend, kind of cloudy. Okay, all right. Thanks a lot, Tom. One more thing tonight. Two years of hard work in England went up in flames this weekend when a specially crafted 19th century warship was burnt to the ground on purpose. The burning of the replica ship commemorated the 200th anniversary of a famous battle and also raised some money for charity. A crowd of 20,000 watched as fire was set to the 100 long foot vessel. The goal was to raise $100,000 for cancer charities. And Burke, you have more coming up. High school sports extra. Stay tuned in two minutes. All your high school football from week one. Have a great night, everyone.